this unveiling this afternoon of the, the bus stop is, although it may look very simple, I think it is rather significant. Significant because I believe, I understand that it has brought together 28 young people from the CFBC who are in the second level of the leadership course which is organized by the CFBC and uh, which has had its roots from Peter Jenkins. And I would like you to give Mr. Peter Jenkins a round of applause, please. I think it is, I think it is very important that we applaud persons who give not only of their time, their effort, their money, their expertise in the development of young people. The young people not only of the Bellevue area, but throughout the country in general. I think very, very often we, we blame and cast aspersions on the young people because of what we have happening in the society today. And so it is, for me, a very important gesture by Peter Jenkins to ensure that not only that this bus stop comes to fruition, but that he has a hand in the overall development of young people in St. Kitts and Nevis. So give him again a round of applause. I think it's also important to applaud the young people who have had the foresight to make this a significant part of their overall educational development. Because as you see, the bus stop behind here is very beautiful. I think I will consider it the best bus stop in St. Kitts and Nevis at the moment. It must have been a lot of hard work because to get 28 people to have the vision and to execute it is not a small feat. So I want to clap for the 28 young people. I want also to give kudos to, I believe, Contact, who have been instrumental in providing whatever materials, etc., for the production of this bus stop. And I it would really be remiss of me if I were not to single out Shalene Welcome, who is our community tourism officer. And I think she's been a blessing. She's been with us for about a year, I believe. And she's been a blessing. Not only has she um, helped in this bus stop this afternoon, but I think she's also involved in the Matingley um, improvement in the community area, in challenges, in the rails to trails, in a number of community developments around the area. Because as I told my team, as I had the opportunity to be in this position two years, I consider tourism not to be centered around Bastille. But the people in the rural areas must feel the effect of tourism. And I want to thank you, Shalene, for continuing that development in the rural areas. As you would recognize, this is very important for us in the Ministry of Tourism because towards the seaside, we are spending in excess of, I believe, half a million dollars over the next several months to make sure uh, that the facilities at the Black Rock area gets a welcome refurbishment and a welcome uplift because we believe that the vendors who operate at the Black Rocks area at the moment, we need to ensure that there is continued economic activity in the Black Rocks area so that those vendors get an opportunity to feel the effects of tourism. So I want you to ensure that we spread the word throughout St. Kitts and Nevis that something is happening at Black Rocks. And I want to thank the Whitegate development through Ellis Hazel for the significant investment they have made into making sure not only that the Black Rocks area is developed, but the enhancement and beautification of the trees coming towards the, the eastern end. We really thank you. 
we don't have the money in tourism, so we thank you that you have a deeper pocket than we have. And so, Ellis, let me ask you to convey the best wishes from the Ministry of Tourism and the government and people of St. Kitts and Nevis to Whitegate Development for helping us, because I believe this is an iconic area in tourism, and we need, we need to make sure that we not only maintain it, but it's sustainable. And so I know this afternoon you showed me something that um, you're intending to put in the Black Rocks area with the barbecue facility. And I can tell you, it is going to be the best barbecue joint in the country. So you're going to have many people coming down here to, to barbecue and to, to have sumptuous meals thanks to White Gate Development. So all in all, I believe... For me, this is a very important um, occasion. Not that it's just a bus stop, but that the young people had the, the vision, they wear it all, they stuck to their guns. I imagine, as with most things, you may have had many trials and tribulations, but at the end of the day, you stuck to what you wanted to achieve, and we are here this afternoon to unveil a beautiful bus stop for the residents and visitors in the Black Rock and Bellevue area. So on behalf again of the Ministry of Tourism and the, the Tourism Authority and the government and people of St. Kitts and Nevis, I want to say kudos to those who have been in the, the, um, the program at the CFBC and more importantly I want to signal my own sentiments and best wishes to, to Peter Jenkins for continuing um, the program at the CFBC to ensure that we, we, we mold the minds and the brains and the young people of St. Kitts and Nevis to better things. Thank you this afternoon. <laughs>